support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video um, for Red Devil Studio. And um, welcome, welcome, welcome to Bruno Fernandes, welcome to Manchester United. Um, I am, as I said in a previous video, I am buzzing. Um, I think this is a very, very good signing for Manchester United, as I've said multiple times. Um, we really need to sign someone this Jaron Chance window, um, and we, we've, we've signed the player that we've been desperately asking someone who can at least play he's number eight we can play number 10 someone who's got a bit of flair who can give us some goals who could give us that extra something and hopefully hopefully give us a good push for top four for the rest of the season you know Bruno Fernandes he's got his stats in the Portuguese even sports and when speak for themselves he's a leader which we desperately need in that set in that sense of, of midfield because we don't have any at this moment in time he's enthusiastic to be part of Manchester United and I really look forward to seeing what he basically has in store for us. Obviously, I expect he's going to be playing against Wolves, hopefully starting, maybe he might might come on. Um, but to be honest, what competition does he really have in the in the in the position? I think he's just going to slot in, and that'll be that. But guys, I am I am buzzing. I am really really buzzing. I am hoping um, that he will be a, an incredible success at Manchester United. In fact, that'll be. I think it will be an incredible success at Manchester United. Um, the only disappointing thing really is that it's taken so long to basically make the signing. Um, you know, summary is that Barcelona basically came in with a bid and we were like, right, we need to make a bid now, which I think is a bit ridiculous, you know. So why is it that we take so long to make signings and then eventually just pay the asking price? We essentially pay the asking price. Sports and Lisbon didn't change the price. We pay the asking price and we got them. If we got, if we did that or sorted out earlier or in the summer for that matter, we could have potentially used this window better to actually reinforce other areas in his strengthening, much like our um, getting a central defensive midfielder, for example, and a forward, and more importantly, a forward uh, or even a right winger. Um, so, yes, again, very, very buzzing and happy. But Bruno Fernandes, as good as a player he is, is not necessarily going to fix all the issues at Manchester United. There's still a lot of issues going on at Manchester United. Um, so... We need to just keep that in perspective. Um, it, we still have the same manager. We still will most likely have the same tactics. Although I think that with Fernandez, I feel that we should go back to a 4 3 3 with Matic playing quite well. P play Matic just in a deep, deeping role. Fred, you know, and then Bruno Fernandez. And then with McTominay and Pogba coming back, we'll see what happens with that, you know. So let's see what happens. Um, here's hoping we get the win on the, on the weekend um, and take things from there. But. Absolutely buzzing. Welcome to Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes. I hope you have an amazing stay at this amazing club and let's go forward. Come on, Manchester United. Come on, United.